I picked the title uh, Elmo City because, I mean, because every, everyone knows Wizard of Oz and it's the utopian city inside the story. There are a lot of like um, universal knowledge system that affects everyone. It's like kind of as a metaphor of like homogeneous system or knowledge that in the globalized world. And I try to break geometry, like break it down, break the standards and rules down as a metaphor to deal with like semblance and differences in the world. And geometry, which is, I guess, kind of like the measurement of the earth. And the way that this piece works is that there are these repetitive forms that are these cylindrical um, shapes and that there, there's a repetition but difference built into the work and so for me thinking about geometry and geology sort of really made sense with this piece in particular. For me the idea of geometry it's like an, it connects for sure to the sculpture that I've been making lately which is like these really strong simple shapes a geometric shape like maybe like a frame or like a ladder these are ladders and then you have to deal with gravity and then you have your body and like you create different uh, centers of mass by changing the angle of your body. The exhibition is not the kind of like historical research-based exhibitions, but starting from this as part of the context and we look at, oh, like we think about geometry whenever our idea of the world as a total space changes. Only in the, the filters that are provided by culture in order to process nature are often geometric in design, whether it's the white cube of a gallery, um, you know, the um, uh, rectilinear lens of the camera, and all of these things. We, we pull the natural information, which is all organic and, and, and much more, you know, and very, you know, with its own independent structuring through very structured human lenses, so to speak. We're trying to build a dialogue between the artists like from different generations and different regions. I want them to be able to have a dialogue like through their works, through the practice. I, I'm picking the works who can expand the we thinking about something that, oh, we take it for granted, or like it affects everyone. So the K-11 Art Foundation has been very, very supportive um, from the very initial meeting with uh, Venus Lau. Um, she's been sort of, we've had a dialogue ever since the show that I had at Capsule Shanghai. And so learning about her curatorial framework and vision um, has been, you know, kind of mind-opening for myself as well. KF is doing, yeah, I think it's important. I think, like, building an audience for art in China is important. We hope, like, with all these, like, great experiences and great dialogues and knowledge and everything, we can bring in or generate more like discursive production in the future.